Okay, Tom from PowerSight again. This is just one more video. Uh, hopefully you'll find this educational. Again, we have a capacitive load, and this is one of the precautions in setting up capacitive loads and slowly uh, creeping up on, on looking at the characteristics of imposing a voltage sag. What we have here again, we've got your line to neutral voltage, your load voltage, all confirmed. We have a little bit higher on the on the load side, and what we've done is we've put in an 85% sag for three cycle duration. So we're ready here. We've got a trip current set at, at 55 amps, and we're ready to go uh, and uh, uh, execute this um, this IPC, this this, uh, this this corrupted power, and look at the behavior. So here we go. We're going to arm and then we're ready to fire. And what we do here, we've fired, and we see immediately on the screen that it's tripped on line one amps. Here, the inrush has exceeded what we have as the trip current, and the unit has protected itself. So it's protecting your equipment under test, but clearly the, the current that we expected uh, was higher than the trip setting and you can see that here immediately you can see over 100 amps pull as the maximum even on this relatively uh, relatively slow uh, uh, voltage meter by downloading on channel scope you can also look at the specific characteristics and look at the curve shape and see what the peak was that occurred because of this capacitive load and this should be a word of caution to you the IPC is set up for um, a 200 amp uh, peak in terms of inrush current, right? In terms of current. If you exceed those limits, you risk damaging the relays in the IPC. And then of course, the IPC needs to go back to be refurbished and repaired. So don't imagine that your nominal load is an indication of what you may see as inrush, especially if you have capacitive or regenerative loads in your unit under test. So, word of precaution. This is a common mistake for people that don't understand their electric systems. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you look after your IPC in the long term. Thank you. Yeah, one more thing. If you look at the graph here uh, on channel scope, you can see that the amps here exceeded 600 amps. That is significant. Right? So although the peak is showing about 100 amps on the meter here, channel scope has picked up the characteristics of this. So uh, make sure when you download that you properly validate that you're staying within reasonable limits of the IPC. We don't want you to damage it. Moreover, we don't want to damage your equipment under test. And it's very important to understand the difference between simple resistive load and loads which have capacitors in them and have capacitors. Thank you for watching the video and we'll see you the next time.